Hey everybody, it's Allie, and this is the YNR Chat Vlog for Sunday, August 31st, and I think we need to start out this video by just talking about Adam. If I know you guys, chances are you probably want to wring his neck. I don't blame you, but here's what I think. I think that Adam is not doing, by any means, what Victor would want, but he is doing what Victor would do. And by that I mean whatever the hell he damn well pleases. I mean, Adam is Victor's son, and in many ways I think that he has um, a, a kind of a crazy drive in business in a way that neither Nick or Victoria really do. Um, he was interested in in business and moving in the direction that he's moving in before he ever knew that Victor was his father. So I think that in a, in a lot of ways Adam really does embody that kind of Victor Newman spirit and he is as such just running the place exactly how he wants to, which in my opinion includes some very, very poor decisions such as firing Neil. I. I can't, I mean, I can believe that he fired Neil, but I can't believe he fired Neil. Um, I was totally on Neil's side during that. I was, and Karen, just by the way, on a side note, I almost forgot to talk about this. Karen really ripped Adam a new one. I loved her. Her claws came out and she just told Adam exactly what she thought. Stood up for her man. Loved it. Um, I felt that Neil probably could have done a little bit better job standing up for himself. I'm not sure what he's going to do. Uh, I cannot believe he got fired. Too, too bad. Um, you know, also, Adam is treating Michael like a second class citizen. Just remember, you work for me. Um... Yeah, I don't think that Michael Baldwin's gonna let anybody talk to him like that. I was really quite surprised that Michael didn't quite just quit on the spot. Um, firing Victoria, of course, everybody could see that one coming. But I think the biggest uh, shocker was his decision to hire Brad Carlton. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa. I loved how they shot that scene too because the whole time Adam was having a conversation um, with the person he was going to hire for the job and you didn't quite know who it was until they until they showed Brad looking at the uh, the generous salary figure but um, wow I you know I actually thought that Brad was going to be going to Restless Style so I was a little bit shocked about that but I have to say um, I think that Adam is going to regret that decision very, very much. Um, and I think that's a good question for you all. What do you think about that? Is Adam making the wrong moves and is he going to live to regret it? So feel free to post your comments, uh, video responses, anything you'd like. Let me know how you feel about that. I mean, I think that it's all good for now, but Adam's little world is very, very close to crashing down on him very, very soon because Victor ain't dead. So we are definitely going to have to see how this plays out with Victor coming back into Genoa City, seeing what Adam has done to his company, and um, we'll experience what the aftermath of that is. Okay, so Heather, what's Okay, what's up with that? So she had her collapse. Um, apparently she had a low red blood cell count, which meant that she was anemic and she was just stressed and tired and that's why she collapsed. Kind of thought that they were going in a bigger direction with that. Um, maybe that was just the first taste of a larger issue. I don't know. Kind of weird how that just sort of blew off to the side. But she is now, wow, moving out to the ranch. Oh yeah, Victor is oh, Victor's going to be so, so mad about that. Um, but she's moving out there. She's the new lady of the manor. Um, Adam is treating her like she's the queen. He's flying in extravagant meals from Brussels so that they can have a private little expensive dinner, um, which I have 
have to say, deep down, don't we all kind of want somebody to say those words to us? You know, we're just gonna have a private dinner, I'm gonna fly in an amazing meal from Brussels, from Europe, and we're gonna just dine on a fine fine meal and champagne. I mean, she's, she's definitely living the life there right now, but it's not gonna last, unfortunately. Um, there's a part of me, too, that kind of wonders if, uh, I don't know if maybe Heather deserves something a little bit better because I think that Adam may very well be able to wine and dine her, but if he's going to be so focused on business and his own problems, I don't even know if he would make a very good boyfriend for her. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay. How about that reading of the will? And Adam sitting there on the couch, smiling, smiling during the will reading. So sad. By the way, I don't know if anybody has noticed in the uh, the midway point of the show, they have that, um, you know, that midsection, and there's a shot of Adam um, sitting on the couch. He's just like sitting on this leather sofa with his feet kicked up. Watch for it next time during the 30 minute break. It's just hilarious. He's just sitting there like with a smirk on his face, laying on this couch. It's so weird looking. Watch for that for sure. Um, but basically at the will reading, Nick got the Restless Style Building. Victoria got the art collection, which I thought was weird because I would have assumed that would have gone to Sabrina. I don't know if it rolled over to Victoria um, since Sabrina did not survive Victor, in which case Victoria would have gotten nothing. I don't know. I thought that was a weird, um, a weird thing to give her, the art collection. Adam got the bulk of the estate and control of Newman Enterprises. However, it seems from watching the preview for Monday's US show that it's possible that Heather is going to try to talk Adam into maybe giving up some kind of control or some monetary amount to Nick and Victoria because uh, we just saw kind of a preview of Adam saying there's no way I'm gonna give them anything but um, it sounds like maybe Heather was trying to talk Adam into that which again kind of confirms my theory that I think um, Heather may be a little better for Adam than Adam is for Heather unfortunate. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the whole Newman mess. Dying to know what you guys think, so feel free to post your comments. Um, since YouTube has the evil 10 minute time limit for videos, I am going to cut this off and call this the end of part one, but there's still quite a lot left to talk about, so definitely come back, look for part two, and I will see you guys there.